Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today's reading is a subscriber requested title. So hopefully they will get the notification and see this um, reading. All right, so what we're asking spirit is what are your person's intentions, desires, and fantasies towards you, okay? So what are they looking to accomplish, right? So we'll see what comes through. Um, I did choose, um, I went through and shuffled for each of you and got one of these Foxfire Kitsune cards out for each reading. So let's choose which one resonates with us most, okay? Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. For crystal number one, we have the Rainbow Fluorite Point, okay? And this card here, for crystal number two, we have the Amethyst Heart, and this card here, and for crystal number three, the Rose Point, uh, Rose Quartz Point, and this card here, okay? So choose which crystal resonates with you most, and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the Rainbow Fluorite Point, and this card here, this will be your reading, okay? So today we're asking Spirit, what are your person's intentions, desires, and fantasies toward you? And we have follow the signs for you guys for crystal number one, okay? And it's card number 44 as well that may resonate with someone here. Um, I do feel here with this card, your person kind of knows deep within that um, there is a connection between you, right? And they're looking for signs um, to see like if they're on the right path, they're, they're kind of maybe questioning it a little bit, right? They're questioning their own intuition is what I'm feeling. Look at this, 10 of pentacles. They want to be with you long term, okay? This card uh, flying out, they wanting the happily ever after with you. They're really wanting to build a solid, um, committed connection here, right? Beautiful energy to start with. Crystal number one. What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies with you? Okay, what is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies with you, please? We have... The Three of Cups, yeah, so really wanting to celebrate, okay, your love, um, really wanting to come together here and celebrate um, this feeling that they have for you, okay, but they, again, I feel with the follow the signs here, they are maybe questioning their own intuition is what I'm feeling, okay, they're kind of like they know you're their person, but they could have some inner um maybe fear uh something like that kind of making them question it but what they really want is this strong powerful connection here happily ever after deep love uh, maybe having a family with you here what is crystal number one's person's intentions desires and fantasies please crystal number one's person please let's see we have the star wow yes Wanting to make your wishes come true is what I'm hearing here. Wow. So you could be really um, loving on this person, right? Really showing them how much you care. Okay. And they're really wanting to make your wishes come true in this situation. Okay. They're really wanting to um, provide and really take care of you. Okay. You're, uh, I feel like they think you're extremely beautiful. They're very attracted to you as well. Um, lots of um, passion here I'm feeling here. They're feeling like you're extremely um, attractive here. Let's see. Let's get one more here before we get clarifiers for crystal number one. What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies here for crystal number one? Person's intentions, desires, and fantasies. There we go. We have, yeah, forward movement. They want to move ahead, okay? They want to move forward. So um, they want to take this either relationship to the next level or they want to come toward you with an offer of love here is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, 
The Six of Swords is could also be with divine intervention coming in. That could be the signs that they're noticing here. Oh, look at this. We have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. So this could be a slow moving forward here as well. Um, I just happened to notice it. So I'm going to pull it here. This could be a slow moving forward, but they definitely want to move forward um, toward you here or towards taking this relationship to another level. They're really, I feel they could be possibly with the Knight of Pentacles coming out there. Um, me noticing that there, I feel is saying that they could be working on their financial stability, right? Ten of Pentacles is about that as well. Being financially stable, right? So they could be slowly working toward that and kind of just kind of following the signs, leading them down this path of um, abundance, right? To try to provide, because I did feel there with the star card, this person really wants to provide um, a good, stable life for you here. Yeah, beautiful. What else? For crystal number one, what are the person's intentions desires and fantasy look at this beautiful i can't even get it to fall out but beautiful ten of cups energy i mean this is you got ten of pentacles ten of cups this person loves you very very much okay complete heart fulfillment here right they're really wanting a stable loving connection here this is beautiful three of cups for crystal number one what is this person's intentions desires and fantasies about them please three of cups why the three of cups please we have judgment okay so really wanting to make a decision, okay? Really wanting to, I feel like they're awakening to the fact here, maybe by those signs that the universe is giving them. They're really wanting to make a decision because they're seeing the signs that this is right, right? The Three of Cups is also about being... Um, with people that are in your soul family, right? So they could really, I was picking up originally with this card, a very deep soul connection that they, they just kind of know, right? But they're, they're questioning it here and there. So with the judgment card coming out, this could mean here that, um, because the six of swords is about forward movement, um, this could mean here that they look at this wow you can't get any better than this right now um this could mean here that they're awakening to the fact that this is a soul connection okay they're awakening to the fact that you are their person but i do feel like there is something here about their abundance with the knight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles we also have the ten of pentacles out again on the star i picked it up without this card even coming out this person wants to give you a good life they want to provide they want to be that provider right they want to make sure that you have all of your wishes met right they really want to take care of you this is beautiful absolutely beautiful let's see six of swords knight of pentacles why do we have this energy out here please for crystal number one their person's intentions desires and fantasies for this connection i feel like wow ace of cups Woo, yeah they're really wanting this big beautiful start in love and i feel like with this ace of cups coming out here this is saying here that they are moving slowly towards a big beautiful offer here okay with that ace of cups a big beautiful offer of love but they are moving forward and with the six of swords i do feel like that it's they, both of those cards are about forward movement one is slowly right but they're still moving and one is um possibly with divine intervention so things kind of the signs here leading this person exactly where they need to be to accomplish that goal right so this is beautiful let's see what else for crystal number one we're going to get oracle cards out here but feeling very deeply that this person really wants long term what is crystal number one's person's desires fantasies and intentions here in this connection we got two we have okay only time will tell so yes definitely some forward movement but slowly okay so give it time 
And then we have this one here, which says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Yeah, so really looking at the possibilities of this connection. They're really, I feel focused on um, moving forward. Again, I feel like this could definitely be something to do with their abundance. They're really wanting to be stable. They're really wanting to... Um, give you stability is what I'm feeling their intentions are here. They're wanting you to feel safe, feel secure, wild, mm, very passionate about you as well. Okay. Um, they could be having some dreams here uh, with the wild card. Okay. They could be having dreams about sexual intimacy here, um, physical touch, things like that. Okay let's see what else here crystal number one's person's intentions desires and fantasies make time for self-love okay so they see how self-loving you are is what i'm feeling here this is they feel you're very attractive you take really good care of yourself again they think you're extremely um attractive beautiful or handsome here so very very attracted to you and again, intending on, I feel, um, yeah, really giving you a stable life here is what I'm feeling. I mean, Ten of Pentacles twice, Ten of Cups, beautiful. Giving you um, big, beautiful love, okay, um, complete heart fulfillment, Ace of Cups as well, a beautiful offer of love. Crystal number one, their person's intentions desires and fantasies about them into me i see yeah i was picking that up with the wild card they're really wanting to get intimate here right they're really fantasizing um about being close right about the physical part of your relationship like they almost can't wait here to experience that if they haven't already or to experience more of it if you already are connected to this person i drop the card let's see protection yeah see wanting you to feel safe okay they're intending to really take care of you this person okay beautiful energy here crystal number one they really want to take care of you um they really um again they think you're beautiful or handsome yeah they see and they want to come forward with the truth okay so they want to be truthful. This person may approach you and, you know, maybe um, get into a relationship here or maybe hint around is what I'm feeling here um, that they want this. OK, um, but they may not come forward with a big, beautiful offer until they're ready is what I'm feeling here. But they definitely do want to tell you the truth about how they feel is what I'm picking up here. OK, they definitely do want you to be aware of these feelings that they're having like maybe they're wanting to again like marriage right ten of pentacles twice right um wanting this financial um stability for you wanting to marry you okay they may want you to know yeah mm -hmm. they want you to always keep hope i heard here okay they're hopeful as well that everything will work out as they're planning it here okay they're trying to really focus on the details here i feel and they're remaining hopeful through it the star card is also about hope and faith as well right so i feel like they're again their intentions are really good um their desires are to be in a committed um type relationship here um with uh, with physical intimacy um being very important here i feel like again they they do feel this very deep powerful um chemistry and connection here what else for crystal Oops, that's the wrong cards oh i'm shuffling them though all right maybe i'll see if one comes out was the same card i just had letting go so this could be a situation where one or both of you are in the process of letting something go out of your life right um their intentions could be to let something fall away in order to allow this to come in this could also tie into that time factor maybe they're trying to again um they could be just letting go of expectation as well here i'm feeling okay like maybe they they originally thought like you um you wouldn't accept them 
um, if they weren't financially completely stable, okay, um, maybe they have let go of that expectation that you would think differently of them or something here, okay? And that might resonate only for some of you, um, I'm feeling, but could be relevant to some of you here. Or someone in this connection having to let go of something, okay, um, as well, okay? So their intentions could be to let go of something from their past in order to move forward or something like that, okay? Crystal number one, what is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies toward them? Crystal number one, what is this person's intentions? Yeah, look at that. See, they treasure you. This person really holds you in high regard. This person has beautiful intentions here is what I'm feeling. Treasure your loved ones, okay? Um, really um, special to this person. Really like a jewel, right? Like a special diamond or a gem, right? They're holding you very close to them um, in their heart here is what I'm feeling, okay? They love you very deeply. It says here um, it's important to love others deeply, right? So they feel like they really have this deep love for you. Um, but again, it's that deep love that's making them really want to take care of you. So this is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what else for crystal number one. What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies toward them, please? For crystal number one. What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies towards them? I feel like this person could be dreaming a lot about, um, yeah, physical intimacy as well. Like really trying to like feel what it will feel like when you come together here or something. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah, work on your partnership, see? So they're really wanting to come to you. I was picking that up before. Like, come to you with maybe with this truth be told. And that's kind of where it's landing. It's landing right here. But um, I'm feeling like this person really wanting to come to you and really say, you know, I am feeling this way. Um, I'm trying to, like, get my life straight or something like that, you know. But, like, wanting to communicate here as well, okay. I feel like there's a deep desire to communicate. Ascension, yeah. Raising their vibration. Really doing the inner work here as well. So this is beautiful, okay. They, they're intending to really... Um, bring to you um, the best version of themselves here is what I'm feeling, okay? And again, I did feel like this is a very spiritual person or connection here. So very tapped into that spirituality, okay? And really um, healing themselves and ascending. So beautiful. I do feel like, yeah, they want to bring you like the best version of themselves here, okay? We have, yeah, look at this beautiful heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together and perfect yeah they're gonna feel so amazing here look at this right over the ten of cups so fulfilled once they're able to come forward with ease okay again i do feel like they are coming forward slowly maybe um like slowly taking steps to get there right to accomplish that goal but I do feel like they're working on something, okay? Again, I was feeling possibly their abundance. Um, it could be other things as well. The star is about healing as well, right? And we did have letting go and hope. So they could be just um, trying to get through some sort of a healing journey here. They could be trying to let go of something from their past, Okay, but they're definitely, and only time will tell did come out as well. So, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where it's just be patient and kind of go with the flow here. All right, let's see what else for crystal number one. What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies? We got one. I'm going to get about four, so I'll just keep shuffling. For crystal number one, what are their intentions, desires, and fantasies please Woo! jeesh <laughs> we have three okay let's put these three over there because they're making the other ones fly everywhere 
Let's get one more, please. A crystal number one. What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies toward them? So, oops. So we have fear of commitment. They could, that could be one of the fears here. Are they fearing that you're, you don't want to commit maybe? Maybe they're trying to figure that out. Okay. Is what I'm getting here. Maybe you have shown them some signs here that maybe you don't want to commit. Okay. And that's why they're kind of treading carefully. Okay. Cause I don't think this person really doesn't want to mess this up. So I feel like they, that could be the reason why they're moving so slowly. We also have twin flames out as well. So for some of you, this could be um, a twin flame connection. I was picking up a deep soul connection here with follow the sign. So that is very possible. Only you will know that, of course. Um, devoted. Yeah. So they're extremely in love with you here they want marriage they want this ten of pentacles beautiful happily ever after energy right deep love abundance they want to take care of you um oh, look at this marriage is the other one <laughs> yep exactly so yeah definitely this person's intentions are a strong um powerful commitment here of marriage with you um really wanting um commitment yeah really wanting commitment here is what i'm feeling the deepest desires here are to be with you and to protect you and make you safe and give you what you deserve here this is absolutely beautiful let's get some message cards out for crystal number one what is this person's intentions desires and fantasies please we have never give up hope okay so we had a couple of messages of hope here and this is card 44 too i do feel like this is connected to some of you out there we have 44 with follow the signs and that stuck out to me and now we have it again with never give up hope so hope is something here that i feel is very important in this connection okay they are trying to remain hopeful um, about the outcome here as well we do have the star and the hope card here. So yeah, definitely a big message here of remaining hopeful and not losing faith. Okay, they're probably trying not to, um, look at this, holy crap, <laughs> keep the faith. Yeah, this is a big strong message, okay? Um, someone out there that could be losing hope and faith in this connection. This is spirit kind of letting you know not to do that. It's okay. I mean, you can, of course, always follow your own intuition and use your own discernment in any situation. But what's coming through here is for someone here for sure that is kind of feeling like nothing's happening or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe feeling like this person doesn't feel the way that they actually feel or something. I can't stay away from you much longer. So, so whoever is, um, this, if this person isn't with you in the physical um, world here in 3D, this person is really wanting to come forward and again, provide, really make your wishes come true. This is a very deep desire for them here is what I'm feeling. This desire for committed, strong, powerful love. Okay, let's see what else. Let's get one more for crystal number one. What else for crystal number one? Crystal number one, please. What is this person's intentions, desires? Practice self-love. Didn't we have something? Yeah, we already had self-love there. And I feel like, okay, so maybe their desire here, their intention is to practice more self-love for themselves as well. I was feeling with that card there that they feel like you are very self-loving, okay? You know what you want. You know what you deserve, okay? They're wanting to give that to you. But they also have to practice self-love here as well. Let's get more, actually. For crystal number one, what is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies here? So I feel like this person dreams a lot about you. They, um, again, about a lot of things, what it'll be like when you're together here in this like 10 of pentacles energy. 
Uh, my feelings for you are so strong it scared me. So this could have been a situation where this person walked away from you because um, their feelings were so strong and intense, okay? It also can tie into the um, twin flame as well here, okay? Please appreciate every moment we have together. So they really intend on making more of these moments is what I'm getting here, okay? They really intend on um, showing you is what I feel, okay? Showing you that it's real. So focus on the good moments that you've already had and expect more is what I'm feeling here, okay? Please don't give up on our love. So again, this could be a situation with time involved here, right? Maybe feeling like you'll walk away um, before they're able to provide what they're looking to provide here. Um, I was picking up that maybe their expectations or what they think your expectations are could be what's holding them back. I want to spend time with you. Yeah. So if this is a situation where you haven't really spent a lot of time together, this person really intends to do that. They want to spend time with you. They desire closeness, this person. Okay. And to me, I see, and a lot of passion they're feeling. They want to be close to you. They want to like hold you in their arms. Okay. They really want to be close and show you how important you are is what I'm feeling here. Okay. Let's get more. Um, yeah, definitely looking for long term. This person is what I'm feeling. Crystal number one. What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies, please? Sometimes I feel I have ruined everything, okay? So, yeah, they might have, again, they might intend to come forward to show you otherwise, okay? Because they really feel sometimes that they have messed this up, right? That's maybe why they're asking not to give up hope and faith because it's coming. Um, what they really desire is to move forward here towards something strong, powerful. Let's see what else for crystal number one. This person's intentions. Please never doubt might see, thinking you were doubting it. Wow, yeah, wanting to tell you that it's real and true is what I heard here, right? And it says, please never doubt my feelings for you. They are real and true, okay? So yeah, this person's feelings, um, if they've expressed how they feel, just know that it is true and real for this person. I have never felt this way in my entire life. Yeah, you really spark this person, man. I'm telling you, they really want, they want forever here. Marriage came out. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles twice, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. I mean, huge, beautiful love here. Oops, we got two. One stuck on my wire. There we go. And I pray you will give me a second chance. So yeah, for some of you, again, if this person did run away or something like that because it scared them, they're hoping that you will give them a second chance here. Because again, they desire closeness. They desire being next to you here. I have always felt like our love was meant to be. Yeah, see? Again, deeply spiritual here, um, feeling like it's always been faded, you know, like a destined connection here. And again, I feel like this is what they truly want here is this closeness, this stable connection. I never wanted to walk away, see, but needed to do so, so we could heal. So there could have been periods of time here in this connection where you both needed some healing, right? Letting go, could have been letting go of things from the past, healing um, insecurities, things like that, right? So they walked away because they needed time to kind of work through those things. And now they're, I feel here, they're intending on moving forward. It may be um, slow, like with the Knight of Pentacles, but, and I do feel like the, the universe is stepping in here and giving them those signs, okay? I want to wake up, see, I, I felt that earlier with the arms. I want to wake up in your arms every day. Really important to want to hug you here. Um, I was feeling that big time earlier, like they really just want you close to them, okay? Like close to their heart here. I am holding back so many emotions, so they might not be expressing, but they're really wanting to with this holding back emotions. They're really wanting to express now, okay? 
they're really wanting to open up and show you not only tell you show you here okay wow this is beautiful energy here crystal number one um i feel this person here has nothing but good intentions um like i said ten of pentacles really wanting that long term um marriage devoted like really a devoted heart here is what i feel okay all right crystal number one um i hope this was helpful for you if it was please give it a like and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the amethyst heart, I can't pick it up. There we go. The amethyst heart and this card here, this will be your reading. Okay. Today we are asking spirit, what is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies towards you? And immediately I heard here to get to know you with the rare knowledge card, okay? They're really wanting to get to know you on a deeper level is what I'm feeling here, okay? Let's see for crystal number two. We'll get more with the tarot. What is this person's desires, intentions, and fantasies here toward them? Crystal number two's persons, two of swords. They want to be chosen. Hmm, okay. They want to be chosen. So you could have a lot of options available to you, crystal number two. They might see you surrounded by other people, but they desire to be chosen here is what I'm feeling here, okay? Um this could be this getting to know you thing they might be kind of watching listening learning from afar or something here crystal number two's person's desires intentions and fantasies please crystal number two's person's intentions desires and fantasies eight of cups yeah they're hoping you'll walk away from something leave the past behind they're hoping you'll leave the past behind here and choose them, whatever that means for you. Um, you could be connected to someone or that you could just have multiple options here is what I'm feeling. But they're hoping that you'll, yeah, their deepest desire is for you to walk away from something and choose them. Okay, let's see. Let's get a couple more here before we get clarifiers out yeah four of pentacles they're they're desiring your attention they feel like you hold back with them okay they feel like you're holding back um energy um things like that maybe not just giving them any attention you could be kind of like leaving them on red or ghosting them or something like that they desire to talk to you here is what i'm feeling they desire your attention to be chosen and for you to walk away from something here whatever that is for you look at this lovers yeah they really want this it won't fall but there it is they really want this deep love here they feel very deeply this person feels extremely deeply about you here they're wanting a romantic relationship right they're wanting a connection with you uh, they feel like you're their soulmate here Mm. yeah they feel like you belong together yeah this is a situation here where um i feel like this person desires you with them <laughs> plain and simple like you to choose them and only them here okay you could like i said you could just have a lot of options or this could also be a perception of theirs okay swords are about thoughts right so they could be in their own mind thinking that you're not choosing them here okay maybe they're seeing things on social media and they're they're making um presumption presumptions yeah about what's going on right you could be surrounded by a lot of people. You could, you know, shine a very bright light and attract a lot of people here or something here, okay? Maybe you're like famous or that could be something too. 
you could like have a lot of eyes on you is what I'm feeling here but they're really wanting your attention on them. They're wanting you to choose them. So they desire your closeness, your energy. Let's see, crystal number two's person. What is their intentions, desires? I, I feel like they intend on loving you. They want a romantic relationship here, okay? Yeah, look at this. They want a passionate new start here. New start could be i said new start so this could be someone you were once connected to as well okay because i said new start i mean these are about new beginnings but the way i said it i feel like for some of you you may have been connected to this person in the past here and maybe there was like never a relationship or something like that right um, and they see that you have all these options available to you. So maybe they feel like you wouldn't choose them. Um, they they really want you to choose them though. They really want this romantic relationship. They're really wanting this passionate, um, cause this person's extremely passionate about you. Like this huge wave of heat, um, <laughs> came over me here with this ace of wands. Yeah. Like. They really desire um, you in the physical as well here. Um, and again, ran knowledge. I feel like they were getting to know you, wanting to get to know you on a deeper level. So maybe at some point you did know them, but not necessarily on such a deep level. But they, they caught kind of like feelings here or something like that. Okay. Because with the lover's card coming out there, I do feel like there is some pretty deep love feelings toward you here. And again, I felt like, look at this, communicate. Yeah, they're wanting you to communicate with them. Yeah, see, I, they want your energy. They want you. Yeah, their desire is here to talk to you, get to know you. Okay, um, really feel the connection between you here and wanting to kind of do it like yesterday right <laughs> like not even they don't want to wait they just kind of want you to choose them now is what i'm feeling um of course always use your own discernment and your follow your own intuition always um on situations but this person is kind of like a little bit on the impatient side right now i guess um i want to say um, cause they're really desiring this relationship. Um, and yeah, sexual fantasies for sure with this ace of wands and the eight of wands. I mean, they are, wow. We got the lovers again. Holy cow. Wow. The lovers again. Yeah. There is so much passion and desire here. This person, um, and they love you so, so much, um, is what I'm feeling here. We got the lovers card out twice. Okay. They just want their lover to give them that love in return, okay? The Four of Pentacles, I'm feeling here that you are holding back from this person. Um, this could also, yeah, I, I mean, it could be flip-flopped as well. But I'm feeling more so that this is a situation where you might have got to know someone a little bit and maybe kind of backed off or something like that. They saw that you have uh, other options. I just saw the Four of Cups, which, yeah, that impatience. But it didn't pop out. It went back in. So, But that impatience I was picking up on from your person here, kind of wanting it now, um, wanting to. And again, you know, hey. Things don't always happen when we want them to, right? So they're going to have to remain patient. Um, I do feel like, again, there is this deep yearning, longing, desire here to um, be chosen, be the one, right? The lover's card, be in that beautiful, um, deep, loving connection relationship, okay? Let's see for crystal number two. What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies? What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies? Why this lover's first lover's card out? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they're feeling left out. Yep, exactly. They desire your closeness, okay? They're feeling left out um, by the person they love the most is what I'm feeling here. Um, mm, 
Yeah, big time. Yeah, there might be some fear too, um, again, in the mind about it as well. It could just be a perception. This person might be looking at it and seeing things, okay, that maybe suggest that you have all these people around you and that you're choosing other people. But that might not be the case. You could um, want this relationship too. Maybe you're waiting for them to come forward and communicate or something, okay? You could want this just as much as them, I'm feeling here, okay? We have the lovers out twice, so I'm feeling like this is a mutual um, love, right? But they, I feel like this could be, I, I keep picking up, it could be their perception. So they might just be seeing things that make them think that you are choosing something else, whether it be friends or another relationship or another love interest or something like that. And they're really um, hoping and, you know, wanting the, you to walk away from that and kind of choose them, right? So uh, big energy. I feel longing, uh, intentions, desires, fantasies, definitely um, sexual fantasies going on here in this connection. Um, really thinking about that closeness and wanting um, physical intimacy. I feel also here that there's a deep, powerful love wanting that romantic relationship. I feel like that is their biggest desire here. We have the lover's card out twice. So I do feel like the relationship is the most important thing um, that they are wanting and desiring right now. But they do feel that very intense, strong chemistry here as well beautiful so this beautiful card here they look very happy and content here in this card she feels every time i see this card i feel like this girl here she looks so safe and feels like she feels safe right um yeah and it's surrounded by hearts so when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make there's that choice again right expands your understanding of life and love Again, that feeling of wanting to be chosen um, is what keeps coming through pretty strongly here. Crystal number two. For crystal number two, what is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies? Majesty. Wow. See, this is how much they hold you like on a pedestal. This person really looks up to you they hold you on a pedestal here they think you are like the most beautiful or handsome person they've ever laid eyes on here okay really holding you in high regard in every aspect okay i feel like they look at you as very stable with that majesty card okay you know you got your stuff together um, beautiful you take care of yourself things like that attuned to the divine okay so they could be really tapping in here to their spirituality trying to help them through okay they could be really meditating contemplating next moves how do i go about taking this to the next level what do i need to do maybe they're realizing here this is also about a bright idea right maybe they're realizing here that they need to communicate with you maybe that communication is what will break this open right possibly here okay because i feel again i felt like this is a mutual back and forth love and I do feel like maybe you want this as much as they do, right? But you're kind of waiting for something from them as well, okay? Yeah, look at this. They see the endless possibilities. Um, and I do feel like they. this is saying here, they want commitment. They're, they're willing to go into an uncharted territory, uncharted sea, right? They're willing to move forward with kind of like not really knowing what the future holds here because they see these endless possibilities with you, okay? I feel like they're really um, wanting kind of long-term is what I'm picking up here. Again, um, certain things, I, it doesn't necessarily come in the card, but I hear certain things, so I, I let you know as it comes through. I am picking it up. Not necessarily do we have any card out to suggest that, but that is what I'm feeling here. We may get some um, as the reading moves along as well. Okay, all of them. Getting a lot of cards out here. Okay, abundance, love, and embracing. Yeah, 
Okay, wanting it all. They really do. They want it all with you. They they feel abundant. They feel loved. Um, when you show them is what I'm feeling here. When you actually um, embrace the possibilities as well, you they feel it. Okay, so this could be something again like they're they're in their head is what I'm feeling here. They could be feeling it at some times but then questioning it at others okay love yeah their intentions are to love you properly they hold you in high regard with that majesty card they really really look up to you they want to do the right thing by you here the lover's card is about a deep powerful love right they want harmony they want peace joy okay embracing yeah so they're wanting to again that embrace they're really wanting to hold you embrace you here um these two in this card here are embracing as well right so yeah they, i feel like they really desire that closeness for sure let's see crystal number two please what is this person's intentions desires and fantasies about them What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies about them, please? We have chop wood, wanting to put the work into it, okay? They're really wanting to work hard at this, okay? They intend to. They intend to communicate. They intend to clean up their life. They intend to make things beautiful here. I feel like this person is doing a lot of inner work. I was feeling with that attuned to the divine that they're really meditating um, contemplating next moves, really going inward, okay? So I feel like this person is willing, they're intending to move forward here and, and communicate, and they're doing the work necessary to get there, okay? With chopped wood, for sure. Really um, cleaning up internally as well could be, um, again, cleaning out those negative thoughts and look at this, communication, yeah, exactly. So expect some sort of communication from this person. We do have the Eight of Wands here. I do feel like they're intending on um, communicating here. We have the Eight of Wands and the communication card coming out. So I feel like that is definitely um, saying here that this person truly does want to communicate with you about this situation. What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies? Do something for someone. Yeah, see, they're just wanting you to um, choose them. Yeah, they just want you to do this for them. Um, I Maybe if you give them some sort of glimmer of hope is what I might be feeling here, okay? So maybe a little bit of attention or something like that might open up the floodgates to all of this communication right they might feel more safe okay like expressing or something like that hmm yeah they might just need a little spark of energy here um to give them that little nudge they need to communicate you could be waiting on communication and they could be waiting on a little bit of um energy like attention or something like maybe you've shifted your energy and your attention onto you know work career your friends or other people or whatever it may be here and they're feeling like they don't like you don't see them okay so yeah that, that could be the key here Ooh, the key here romantic feelings and new love yeah see this is what they want yeah, that could be the key here, um, possibly um, just showing a little bit of something, maybe attention in some way. Um, I mean, it could be as simple as liking something um, of theirs, like a photo or something, okay? And then they're like, oh, you know, crystal number two, um, you know, maybe is still interested. Maybe I should talk to them. You know what I mean? Like something like that. Um, romantic feelings, new love, right? So they're feeling very romantic toward you. They intend on romancing you, wine, you know, dinner, movies, whining, and what do they call it? Dining you, whining and dining you, or something like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, they really want to do these nice things for you, is what I feel. They intend on being, again, in that beautiful uh, romantic relationship. And I feel like this person is very romantic and wants 
again, a lot of intimate time with you, um, talking, communicating, and also um, with physical touch as well. New love, yeah. So they're really, um, they could be thinking here that you found someone new, or again, I feel like it's in their mind though. For some of you, for some of you, this may be the case. Maybe you did move on from it and they're seeing you with someone else and you need to walk away from that in order to be with them, to choose them. But for some of you, I feel like you really haven't moved on, okay? For some of you, I feel like you're still um, loving this person very deeply, but they're not giving you the communication that you require and then you're not giving them the energy and um, focus that they require. So it's kind of like... Um, push pull a little bit you know what I mean but once the floodgates open I feel like it's going to change a lot in this connection okay um, definitely intending on bringing in new love here right so they're wanting that new love feeling they're wanting to um, really experience things with you is what I'm feeling here okay what are their intentions desires and fantasies towards crystal number two please abundance yeah he has abundance again okay um they're they're really focused on they want to i feel here with the abundance card coming out here i feel like they want to provide they want to be the person that you need them to be right somebody who's strong stable okay um prosperous right someone who's going to take care of them too not not saying provide you know all of your financial needs but be strong and stable in themselves right you're probably strong and stable in yourself i did pick up famous for someone here that's possible okay you could be someone in a public eye um, with a lot of eyes on you was what i was hearing here so um, you could be financially stable because you're famous or something like that. You have a high-end job or something like that, career, um, a business, whatever. And they could maybe just be wanting to, um, they desire to meet you with that abundance, right? Look at this, soulmates. Yeah, I picked that up earlier. This, Well, I think it was this card here. I picked it up. They think you're their soulmate here, okay? This person feeling extremely connected here, deep soul connected to you here, okay? Feeling like you're their person, you know what I mean? Like they really feel like this is supposed to happen, right? So, okay, what else for crystal number two, please? What is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies? I'm going to get about four. I have one. I can't see it. Let's see. Crystal number two, I think it's two. A couple more. Crystal number two's person's intentions, desires, and fantasies. That's three. Intentions, desires, and fantasies. There we go. All right. So we have attraction. Oh, wow. Attraction. Yeah. Okay. Very attracted. Yep. Definitely, um, again, feeling like you are absolutely beautiful or handsome here, really feeling um, connected here. And they really do, um, they desire physical intimacy here for sure. Um, that's definitely big on their list here. Look at this, twin flame synchronicities and very soon. So this could be your twin flame we're talking about here um, with that lover's energy. It certainly could be. Um, I was picking up soulmate and I felt like this person feels here that you're their soulmate. So a deep, powerful soulmate twin flame connection. You will know if this is your twin flame, of course. Synchronicities. So they're seeing signs, synchronicities, okay? And I guess I feel here with the signs and synchronicities, like it's those little things that make them keep pushing forward, right? It's those little things that give them a little bit of hope, right? Like it could be like they, they start thinking negatively here or something like that. And then they're like, oh, but, and then they see a sign, right? And they're like, oh, but crystal number two is, you know, with someone else and they're not choosing me. But then they see a sign, like they see your name or a number that correlates to you or something like that, you know? Um, they want this, again, I was feeling like now, <laughs> but this is saying here that they desire this to happen very soon, okay? They're really looking to bring this in. They're really looking to make this happen here. 
Okay, crystal number two, please. This person's intentions, desires. Okay, I'm going to keep shuffling because we have a few to get out here. So we have three. Let's keep going. And we'll go over them four. Five, six, I think. Okay, two more, please. Seven, eight. There we go. All right, so I think we have eight. If not, I'll shuffle again. But I think eight flew out here. And a big mess. Okay, so I have... I have been hiding my true feelings for you, okay? So, again, not communicating, right? They might not be saying how they're feeling out of fear of rejection. Like, they might think that you've chosen someone else here. I am so afraid to lose you. Yeah, they really desire this connection to come in, like I said. And they're afraid that they're going to lose you in the process to someone else. Please don't give up on our love. This person knowing that you love them deeply. The lover's card came out twice. I feel like this person knows that you love them, but for some reason you may have pulled back your energy or your attention or something, okay? And again, always, always take what resonates with you in these readings and leave the rest behind because this may resonate for some of you and not all of you, okay? Um, Fate, Destiny, Serendipity, one of the biggest twin flame cards in this deck. I wrote the deck, so I know it is. Um, fate, Destiny, and Serendipity. Um, feeling, again, fated and destined, right? They did feel here that you are their destiny, right? We both need to step out of our comfort zones. There it is, right? I felt that earlier that you're both kind of stuck in a comfort zone, right? You're waiting for communication. They're waiting for some sort of attention or some sort of focus on them and then it's kind of like just stuck in the middle right kind of waiting for each other you both need to kind of step out and kind of you know push it forward look at this i dream about you every night yeah i told you there's a very deep strong desire for physical touch here they could be having sexual fantasies here about you my feelings are so strong it scared me. Another um, pretty strong twin flame energy with this card, okay? Um, sometimes feelings are very strong, but then people kind of hold them in because they're afraid to express because of fears of rejection, things like that. Keep the faith, yeah. See, they're trying to, I feel as well, keep the faith that you still feel the same way about them, even though... I'm feeling for a lot of you, you may have removed your energy from this person. I do feel like they're trying to keep the faith here, okay? They definitely intend on a relationship, like I said, and I was feeling very um, long-term. I was picking up with that endless possibilities, okay? Let's see what else we have. My feelings are for you are so strong. So another message of how strongly and deeply this person feels for you, okay? A very deep, strong love here, okay, this person feels. I mean, we did have the lover's card out twice, so that's a big indicator of that as well. I have so many things I want to say. See, there's that lack of communication, right? So many things they want to say, but they don't out of fear is what I'm feeling. Okay, so let's see. Again, I feel like maybe a, that little bit of attention or something, like even liking a photo, I said, um, that could even just spark that communication to come flying out. No one makes me feel the way you do. Yeah. Very special love here. They're feeling toward you. This person definitely desiring um, that love. Wow, I am hopelessly devoted to you. Man, whew, powerful, see? Yeah, this could certainly be a twin flame relationship here. We're talking about a twin flame connection. Um, but again, only you will know that. So, Oops, I think I got a flipper. Nope. Okay. Let's get a few more to end the reading, please, for crystal number two. What is this person's intentions, desires? I want you for the... Look at this. I want you for the long term, yeah definitely came through like I said way earlier in the reading with endless possibilities this person desires a long-term commitment here with you what else for crystal number two sometimes I feel I have ruined everything yeah so maybe by not necessarily communicating right they could have felt like because they're not communicating 
um, when you then you pulled away you're like hey if you know this person isn't going to express to me how they're feeling then you know I'm just going to kind of go my own way do my own thing whatever and they might be feeling here like they've ruined it by not opening up so maybe they'll um you know heal themselves and shift that energy and be able to open that throat chakra say it like it is right hopefully I have always adored you, even if from afar, okay? So yeah, really looking at you from afar here. And again, I was picking up on this originally up here, saying that they were seeing things on social media. So they really have been um, paying close attention here, okay, to what's going on. And maybe again, like I said, I feel like it's a perception not necessarily the truth of what's happening, but what they're seeing is making them kind of think you're so hot. Yeah, there's that attraction, right? That deep, passionate desire here. There is very strong desire here as well, right? With this, uh, with this connection here. You're so hot. Thinking you're extremely beautiful or handsome here. Um, very, very attracted, okay? Um, and thinking about this connection a lot, I feel very, very um, heavily on this person's mind. Wanting to be chosen is what, you know, the original message here came out. So, all right, Crystal number two, I hope this reading was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the rose quartz point, and this card here, this will be your reading, okay? Today we are asking spirit, what, uh, what is this person that you have on your mind? What are their intentions, desires, and fantasies towards you, okay? And for you, crystal number three, we have the foxfire card. So this person, um has a lot of dreams very steamy dreams here is what i was feeling here with this uh foxfire card okay dreaming about intimacy physical intimacy here um one of their deepest desires is to touch you okay so let's see what else in the tarot for crystal number three what is this person's intentions desires and fantasies Whoa, okay, we have <laughs> ten of cups. Wow, ten of cups. Holy crap. Yeah, they love you. Okay, this person loves you very much here. Um, ten of cups energy, really wanting that happily ever after. I feel like this person um, might even, they intend on maybe marrying you here. We have the ten of pentacles flipped as well. So, yeah, I'm definitely feeling that this person could want to marry you here for sure wow okay this you might have messages in crystal number one i'm feeling here as well we had um some similar cards out for them as well different decks uh the clarifying deck for some of them but yeah uh definitely there could be messages for you there as well possibly um the energy was very similar here okay crystal number three this person's desire wow yeah marry you here we go yeah they want to tie the knot okay uh justice yeah they're wanting to bring you big things okay they're wanting you to get your justice get what you deserve they feel like this person is very very passionate about you i feel like this person loves you very deeply here with this ten of cups okay um and we have three cards out here that are all suggesting some sort of a legal contract right marriage okay so very very big energy here i just looked at the timer for not really looked at it but noticed it from the corner of my eye and it said 222 so that could resonate for someone here as well okay we have 10 10 on the board here as well and number 11 two okay let's see what else for crystal number three you could be um, into numerology because for some reason I'm telling you about all the numbers that's, that exist here. That does happen sometimes. Um, so I always feel like maybe um, I'm very much into numerology as well. So I do feel like sometimes that's a sign here um, for you people out there that are looking and watching these videos. If you're looking for numbers 
these may be relevant to this connection, okay? Um, let's see for crystal number three. What is this person's desires, intentions, and fantasies here for this connection? What are their intentions? I feel intending on marrying you big time, okay? That's coming through extremely strong here in the first three cards. Four of Cups. Yeah, they kind of... This could be something that they've been waiting for a very long time, okay? Maybe um, one or both of you are connected to other people or, you know, life has kind of brought you on different paths or something. Maybe you're long distance, something like that. And it's kind of been a wait is what I'm feeling here. They feel um, a little bit impatient about it. So really wanting to kind of rush forward here is what I'm feeling. Wow. They're wanting this now, okay? They're wanting this, like, big time is what I'm feeling, okay? Let's see. Ten of Cups. Why the Ten of Cups here for crystal number three? What is this person's desires, intentions, fantasies about this connection? Whoa. Two of Cups. Woo! I have extreme goosebumps head to toe. Some of you, Twin Flame here, okay? Again, only you will know that, but as soon as it came out twin flame reunion here if you are in a twin flame connection i feel like this is saying here your person is really desiring um union here okay um again that and again two of cups even if you even if you're not on the twin flame journey this is about your person look at this ace of pentacles yeah this is about your person. Even if you're not on the twin flame journey, this is about your person wanting a relationship, wanting to come together, okay? Wanting a partnership with you. And then Ace of Pentacles on the 10. Look at that. Coming forward in the physical world here, right? In the 3D. Coming forward with a big, beautiful offer here of love, marriage, a prosperity, abundance, right? Wow, this is huge very big energy here crystal number three wow justice why the justice card i was feeling tie the knot <laughs> exactly those words here right tie the knot so definitely like a marital contract in play in this person's um you know deep desires here three of wands there's that waiting again right I was picking that up with the Four of Cups. They're waiting here for a perfect moment here is what I'm feeling. Um, something, maybe they're planning something here with the Three of Wands as well. They're planning something. Waiting for the perfect moment. Hmm. So they're impatient, but they're waiting. They're impatient with themselves, maybe. Maybe it's not even with you, see? Um, could be uh, impatient with themselves here. Maybe they're waiting for a specific moment here. They could be waiting for, um, maybe this person um, wants to, you know, maybe get a ring or, you know, plan a vacation or something like that, right? Um, to take you away and propose. Look at this, Seven of Cups. Yeah, they're they're really impatient with making this choice. They want to just make this choice and move forward, okay? They, they could be looking at different, with the Seven of Cups, they could be looking at different options of how to do this, okay? How to accomplish this goal, right? And they're kind of being impatient with themselves. They're kind of like internally rushing themselves <laughs> is what I'm feeling. They really want to rush forward. But then, you know, things like their mind kind of, you know, lets them know like, hey, you got to be a little more logical here or something like that, right? Yeah. And like it could require maybe some um, financial thing, like maybe for a trip or something here, okay? or a ring or something so maybe they're like impatient trying to accomplish this goal trying to you know maybe they're looking at different options of how they could accomplish it faster what is their intentions desires and fantasies here so we have this card here wow this card came out this is coming out quite often Okay, so this is a beautiful card of, I feel these, these two here, 
this person feeling very safe in his arms, right? I feel like this person really wants to take care of you. Um, again, wanting this deep, powerful, committed relationship, right? Really want to take care of you and provide with the Ace of Pentacles as well and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and she's looking really safe. Like, I feel like this person will make you feel very safe. They desire to protect you, right? When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Yes, this is about these choices, right? They could be just kind of going back and forth with all of these choices that they have to make. Um, maybe trying to look at the best option and they need to realize that no option is right or wrong, right? They just kind of have to follow their heart here and be a little bit more patient connection yeah they just want connection here with you they feel it very deeply is what i'm feeling okay they desire this connection to be one is what i'm feeling here okay they want oneness they want togetherness here okay yeah big time union energy here coming together um as a couple so I feel like this person deeply desires, um, if you're not with this person, like asking you out. But I'm feeling like this is a deep connection here with wanting marriage here in the first three cards and all of this passion, um, desire. I was feeling very um, spicy dreams there. So I feel like this is something, a connection that has really um, evolved over time is what I'm feeling. Open up to change. So new moon in aquarius open up to change okay so they're really they could have certain things they could desire certain things okay but realize that those things might take more time than they want right so they have to be open to change okay they have to be open to changing their um i just saw a 10 10 on the timer again i feel like that's extremely um relevant to someone here look up angel number 10 10 i just out of the corner of my eye saw it on the timer as well um yeah so i feel like this person is just having to kind of bear with themselves and be patient a little more patient with what they're wanting to accomplish here is what i'm feeling okay they might be really wanting to rush this okay um and not out of look at this tender embrace and the power of purpose yeah they feel like th yeah this is a deep soul connection here um, again, only you'll know if it's your twin flame, but that definitely came through there. And now we have the power of purpose. I feel like they intend on really accomplishing a lot with you here. Um, living your purpose together, right? And tender embrace. They really do desire that tender embrace. They really want to have you next to them. They really do. This person is very um, deeply sensual deeply sensual wow okay so this person here very deeply um sensual wants to feel and experience your sensuality as well okay um yeah pretty deep this person uh, a lot of passion desire here Whew, big time okay let's see what else for crystal number three passion desire deep love deep deep love okay um and again, wanting marriage, okay, um, big time is what I'm feeling. Yeah. Union, trust, yeah, they trust you. Um, I feel very deep trust between you here, okay. Um, they trust in this connection, they really do. They feel it as deeply as you do, I'm hearing here, okay? So if you are in a connection and you feel it very deeply and you're um, maybe questioning things or anything like that, um, if something is taking some time here or something, because that Four of Cups could also indicate that you're a little bit impatient, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like with this here, it's saying that they trust in that connection. Um, even if things aren't necessarily moving at the pace that they want it to, they still have trust in it, okay? All that glitters, yeah. See, again, picking up here that they definitely want to provide you um, material possessions as well, right? They just want to give to you this person, Um yeah, they're really, I feel like this definitely has something to do with these choices. It has to do with money, okay, or something like that. 
um, financial abundance, something, okay? Um, it could be that they're looking at something way too extravagant for their budget, right? Or something like that, right? And they're having to open to change and kind of like realize that all that glitters isn't all that's important, right? What's important is the heart, how you feel in your heart for someone, right? So I think that they're going to have to, um, because it's a seven of cups too, make that emotional choice to say, you know what, it doesn't really matter like say the size of the ring or the size of the house or whatever it is, the um, extravagancy of the trip. What matters is that we're together, okay? So I feel like this person may want to give, give, give like so much that they kind of hold themselves back a little bit from their desires. Like their desire is to come forward and move forward with this, but they kind of hold themselves back wanting to be like extra. You know what I mean? Like... And it's not a bad thing. I mean, they want to give to you. They feel very deeply, right? But at the same time, um, they really kind of need to focus on it is more important. Being together is the most important thing here. Okay, innocence, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they, they look at you. Your love is pure, I'm hearing here, okay? Your love is very pure. Um, yeah, they feel like you are so just intensely beautiful yeah just like even in like a i'm seeing like a beautiful like gown right they just look at you almost like this princess yeah like royalty almost and there's this innocence about you that really um kind of tugs on this person's heartstrings right like they're like yeah just like so deeply in love okay it's like that innocent pure love here beautiful what else please crystal number three their person's intentions desires and fantasies here okay take a chance on love yeah see they're really wanting to do it regardless of the physical things they really are in this push pull kind of waiting for the perfect moment but at the same time knowing they need to just kind of make a choice to move forward they're wanting to take a chance on this connection they're wanting to push forward um even if they are they aren't able to offer everything that they want to okay they i feel like they really are wanting to take that chance regardless crystal number three trust again wow and it flew in such a weird way it landed on the side of all the other decks that are standing up over here. Um, and it's like just perfectly placed itself. Yeah, this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? So if at any point in time you are doubting this connection or something like that, I feel like with trust coming out twice and that landed exactly over that trust card, that's exactly where I was putting that card um, as I did in the other two crystal readings. Um, for that to come out right on top of one another here, I do feel like someone here is doubting maybe the connection, okay? Because this is saying this situation is calling for you to have faith, right? So remain hopeful and keep your faith alive here for this connection healing energy, okay? Yeah, so any doubts that arise, right? Just kind of work through and heal those things, okay? This person, I feel, has done a lot of healing as well here, okay? They've had to maybe heal um, things from their past or something like that as well. If they haven't, they do intend on healing here as well, okay? Heart with a key. Look at this. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. And look where it's falling, getting together. This is what this person's intentions are. They really want to come together um, in union, in a partnership here. This is absolutely beautiful energy, crystal number three. Okay, what is this person's desires, intentions, and fantasies? Awakening. I can only see that one. I can't see the next one. I'm getting four. Um, I see awakening here. Okay, let's see. Let's get two more. For crystal number three. There's one and two. Okay. So we have, put this here. 
we have desire yeah wow okay fake smile okay so this person tries to grin and bear it okay um they're kind of going through um day by day kind of putting on a fake smile um really wanting this happy ending here this ten of cups ten of pentacles but on the way i feel like they do smile they're very um like a happy jolly type person um very high vibrational as well um and they kind of just grin and bear it they kind of make um the best of each day is what i'm feeling here with fake smile awakening yeah they're starting to awaken to the fact that those other things don't matter okay the material things in this connection are not what's important. The hearts that are involved, that's what's important. Peace, yeah, they really um, desire peace in their life, right? They really feel like you bring them a lot of peace and desire, look at that. Yeah, you definitely have um, a person here who desires you, okay, plain and simple. They desire you, you next to them, in their life as their significant other their person right so this is beautiful energy here crystal number three for sure they have this deep powerful desire um, for this committed relationship is what i'm feeling and for you again for you as well okay I, I try to keep it as pg as possible here for youtube um and you know sometimes i have to kind of alter the messages as they come through because sometimes we have thank you for being you yeah see appreciating you just as you are this person okay they desire you not to change one thing i'm hearing okay do not change a thing beautiful what else for crystal number three Crystal number three, what is this person's intentions, desires, and fantasies? I don't blame you if you've moved on. So if you've waited for this person, they wouldn't blame you if you moved on. I don't feel any sort of moving on type energy here coming through um, from either of you here. Um, but again, I guess they're just kind of reassuring here that they don't blame you if you have but they definitely don't want you to, okay? <laughs> we will be together soon, my love. Yeah, see, they don't want you to move on. They'll be here soon is what they're saying, okay? They will come forward with this offer of love, this big um, offer here. We have, you are my twin flame, okay? Yeah, so that come through again here. A lot of twin flame energy on my channel here, I feel. This comes through quite often now let's see what else for they feel like you're their twin flame too okay and they desire union is what i'm feeling with that card there if this is your twin flame and if it isn't they still again they still desire union they still desire coming together and marriage here what is this person's desires intentions and fantasies please show me that you still care Again, just wanting that reassurance, I feel, okay? Wanting that reassurance from their person um, that they care about them, that's all, you know? Just definitely wanting to feel that love. Yeah, they desire to feel that love. Let's see, what else, please? Their desires, intentions, and fantasies. Self-love. So, yeah, they desire here um, for you to continue on your self-love path here is what I'm feeling, okay? If you've been doing the self-loving thing, choosing yourself, really taking good care of yourself, they don't want you to stop that or change that in any way, shape, or form for them. They want you to continue on your self-loving journey. I regret pushing you and our love away. So for some of you, at some point, you were connected to this person and they may have pushed you away um this is saying here that they do regret that now okay what are their intentions desires our love is a love of a lifetime so a lot of messages coming through here saying how much this connection means to this person okay they desire this connection to come together here for sure all right let's get some of these message cards out to finish out the reading for crystal number three please what is this person's 
intentions, desires, and fantasies. It took all I had to stay away from you. So if at any point you weren't with this person in the physical world here, it took everything inside of this person to stay away. They had to kind of hold themselves back constantly is what I'm feeling here. What is crystal number three's person's intentions, desires, and fantasies? Being with you will be a dream come true. Yeah, see, I told you. They just desire being with you. They just want to be with you. They want union. They want togetherness, a relationship, marriage, right? Tying the knot. A lot of messages about long term here. I had to distance myself because holding back was becoming impossible, right? It took so much. Or it took all I had to stay away. And look at this. They had to distance themselves because holding back was becoming impossible, okay? So maybe wanting to show more in the past here than they could, okay? We have a flipper here somewhere. There it is. I am trying to do everything right because I am scared to mess this up with you. Again, another message of how important this connection is to this person, right? They are so afraid to mess things up. I feel like that could be a part of their impatience. They're afraid that they've taken too much time or something like that. Okay, and always remember with these readings, they are general. Not all messages will resonate for everyone. I don't know if I said that here in this uh, reading yet, but always remember that um, not all messages may fit, okay? Leave the rest behind if it doesn't, okay? Well, I want to share my life with you. Yeah, this is all over this reading, okay? Very, very deeply wanting to marry you. I feel that's, in this reading, I feel like physical touch, and marriage is the two biggest things that this person, um, marriage and commitment together, coming together, is the, the most um, desired thing for this person, okay? Is coming together into union and experiencing this love. My feelings for you are so strong, yeah. Very, very strong, powerful love here. Yeah, I feel like that's their biggest intention is marriage, okay? And their biggest desire is togetherness. Um, always i am holding back so many emotions could come rushing out like the floodgates opening up here when this person does come forward with whatever this offer is okay let's see sometimes i feel i have ruined everything wow yeah they're afraid of ruining things and messing things up here we did have the healing card out here as well so they could see the need here to heal, I feel, okay? They might have some some sort of healing to do of some, you know, fear here. Um, feeling like they mess things up, you know, like shame, guilt, things like that. Um, they may have to do some healing on the way to this connection moving forward into like a marriage or something like that. But they definitely intend on working towards it is what I feel, okay? Um, putting the work in and getting a little bit impatient with themselves um, while they're trying to accomplish whatever goal it is here that they're trying to come forward with, okay? All right, crystal number three. I hope this reading was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.